So as you saw from the title, today we're going to be doing a full face using the Allure Best of Beauty, except we're just going to use the ones that I have already. And I'll give you like my thoughts on them and stuff. I'm not actually 100% sure like how the Best of Beauty works for Allure. I know that the brands have to submit themselves so that Allure doesn't just choose what they actually think is the best. They choose out of like what's been submitted. That's all that I know. So I just have been just watching a couple of videos about them. Like I watched the Ellie glines one i watched the kelly gooch one and i've seen a couple on my tiktok as well and then obviously the brands that i follow are like oh our product one thank you so much so today we're going to be trying all of them out on my bare face so these are the ones that i own and then i have a couple that are like semi-similar to the ones like they're from the same brand like you know like the urban decay glowy one one i don't have the glowy one but i do have like the original one we're not gonna cheat today but like there's a few products that we'll have to like use my own because i don't have everything okay we're actually starting with the one product that I haven't tried before and this I bought anyway so I didn't buy it like specifically for this video because that's not what the video is about the video is about like oh the ones that I own but this one I bought anyway I just haven't gotten around to using it yet and it's the liquid poreless putty primer from elf and what did this win this one best mattifying primer and I love a mattifying primer I'm hoping that this will be good and you can see here that I do have a pimple patch on I, it's actually I'm actually filming this in the evening I film most of my youtube videos in the evening I'm gonna hop in the shower after this so like this makeup is just like pre-shower makeup fun times so we're gonna use a bit of this Oh, it's not sealed. That's weird. Anyway, so I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out. And what I really like to mattify is my forehead because my forehead gets freaking oily. Okay, this texture, it's nice. This is, the like I said, the only one that this will be a first impression of. Yeah, so this one, be best mattifying primer, it wasn't even it, like in the drugstore category or like the steals. It was just literally the best mattifying primer. And I've heard that this isn't mattifying. It's just more pore filling. And I can definitely... Feel it smoothing out my pores. Oh my god. I remember when this first launched, I really wanted it. I remember being in the airport actually in Edinburgh and walking into the booths and looking at the elf stand in the airport and swatching this on my hand. I was like, oh my god, I need it. But I was like, no, I'll wait. And then I waited like a year. <laughs> so like I said, I'm breaking out like obviously up here, little some here. And the pimple patch that I'm using is actually the Mighty Patch. And they won Best Pimple Patches, I'm pretty sure. But it's not, like, the one I'm using is the Invisible one, which I think you're meant to be able to put makeup over. The one that won is, like, the, like, best just pimple patch in general. But that's not the specific one. Okay, I don't have the foundation that won, which was the Best Liquid Foundation was the Fenty Beauty Soft Lip one. Best Powder one was Maybelline. Best Skin Tint was Danessa Myers. I don't have any of those. And I know there was a drugstore skin tint that won as well. It was, like, the new Wet n Wild one. I actually do want to try that at some point. So if you want to see me try that, let me know. But I don't have a skin tint to try today. But I do have the House Labs concealer which one like best sensitive or something i don't know i don't know all of these i'm so sorry i'll put them on the screen as i'm talking but like i can't list them right now i'm gonna use the sagloy super gel which one as best in clean or something like that again i don't know i'll put it on the screen this is the bronze glow one so it'll give like a bit of coverage i guess that's gonna be way too much i can just tell this product i do love but the bronze glow is so tinted and i've heard a lot of people having problems with it so if you don't like something super bronzy if you're like very pale it mightn't work for you but how is this sitting over the primer wait i need my little mirror because i keep going like this the same glowy super gel it has like a bit of a scent i don't know how to describe it it's kind of like a spa i guess but this i do like this base and as you can see it just gives a little bit of bronzy cover best brow gel i don't even know again i'll put it on the screen best brow this is the elf brow lift one anyway and i have this and i don't use this all the time but when i do i'm like whoa so like this is good but i just don't like the super laminated brow lift look and i know that elf even has a new like even more laminating one it's literally called like the laminating gel but this one like it's very good it has a great hold however i just don't find myself ever reaching for it i just love something a little bit more natural but as you can see it shapes the bow perfectly okay we're gonna go in now with the house labs concealer and we're probably just gonna have to use this kind of like in place of foundation and just kind of put it everywhere so i'm putting it on my eyes obviously a little bit on my chin <laughs> a little bit a little bit <laughs> and i'm gonna put it right over the middle patch and see what happens because like i said i'm just gonna hop into the shower now so like whatever happens happens i don't have any of the brushes that one and any of the categories but i do have it's like the tweezer and tweezers which one best tweezer and that tweezer is phenomenal i will say like i never thought you'd have to splurge on a tweezer but that tweezer is really good and so is this concealer what the heck whoa maybe i should like use this in place of foundation a lot it is kind of clinging to the dry patches of my spots but let's see how it works over this pimple patch though why is it kind of slaying like you can definitely see the pimple patch but like from a distance you probably wouldn't even notice this base is actually slaying so hard i love that elf um primer usually what i use this house labs for is just under my eyes as you can see it gives a little bit of brightening it's 
pretty. It is actually the only like high-end concealer that I own and I do really enjoy it. And I did want to try the foundation. However, I think that is more like kind of like dewy and natural and radiant. And I just prefer something more matte these days. Okay, the base is looking smooth. This concealer as kind of like foundation is correct. It's obviously really full coverage, but like it looks really good. Okay, I'm obsessed. The best liquid blush went to Armani. 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 And that's not cruelty free, so I don't have that. And I think Dibs is like Glow Tour Duo and that has a blush on it, but I I don't have any of the liquid blushes as well, like the Say one. So um, I have this Milani cream one to go in with, but I know the Patrick Ta like bronzer duo one in like bronzer duo, but like, can I just use a little bit of the blush right now? Cause like, it's basically the same thing, no? I've decided it's my video. And if I want to use just a little bit of blush, cause I love blush, then I can. Cause like I said, it's my video. Just using the Patrick Ta one. Cause like I said, the bronzer did win in there and it's like best bronzer duo category, which I think Kelly is the one who talked about this. And she's like, how many other bronzer duos are there? Like they must not have had a lot of competition. So the one size powder one for best loose powder and the Bobbi Brown one for best pressed powder. I do not have either. And I don't, I think Bobbi Brown isn't cruelty free. So that's why I wouldn't be getting Bobbi Brown. But the one size one I've heard like really mixed reviews about. Like some people love it. Some people hate it. Like I've heard it's really thickly ground, but it's good for like really mattifying. But I have the Huda, which I think is quite similar to one size. It's pink anyway. So I'm just going to use that to set my face because I can't not set my face. And then we're going to go in with the powder products maybe one year in a couple years maybe next year i'll be able to do this video and like actually buy all the products that are in it and not just use what i have obviously they still have to be cruelty free which a lot of products aren't which you know we don't love that but i think the pimple patch is actually working really well under makeup and like i said the mighty patch did win in the pimple patch category so they are really good pimple patches however my favorites are the coaster x ones i really love the coaster x pimple patches oh my god but oh my god this base is slaying like do you know those people that are like oh i just use concealer i get that now i actually get that because this is amazing and i say this like say thing like evened it out gave me a little bit of bronziness oh my god it could be the lighting because the lighting isn't great right now but this looks great i always use a little bit of setting spray before i do my rest of the powder products and the urban decay glowy one one in the like best glowy setting spray category like i said what one in the other ones Best mattifying one was the milk one. I don't have that one either. So we're going to use this Urban Decay one because it's still an Urban Decay one. And I don't know why I'm setting my makeup because like I said, I'm literally hopping into the shower in a minute. Like I said earlier, I do have the Milani Powder Blush and this is actually one of my favorites. I love this and it definitely deserves to win. I feel like this is probably one that's in there year after year. Again, this is my first year really delving into the Allure Beauty Awards. I literally use this blush every day. It's beautiful. This shade Dolce Pink is the one I use and I know Luminoso was really popular before and I know that Milani also just came out with like liquid versions and I really want to pick it up. Okay, I might have done... <laughs> blush but that's okay because like i said i'm hopping into the shower now and i love blush okay i love it wait i don't have any bronzer to use because bron the charlotte tilbury airbrush airbrush blonde bronzer one wait 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 so i don't have that charlotte tilbury bronzer but i have this charlotte tilbury face palette and it has a bronzer in it so i have to assume that the formula is similar so i am gonna use a little bit of that because i need some sort of like definition in my face right now because i just look like a clown with all that blush that i put on i don't even know how that happened i haven't gone this blush blind in a really long time I think this is going to be a relatively short video. Don't hold me to that. The last powder product we have to try is the Rare Beauty Highlighter. Well, not to try, to use. And I usually just use this as face highlighter, but since I don't have any other highlighters to use today, I'll use it for my inner eye and my nose as well. So for the face, I do use a fan brush, surprisingly. <gasps> I nearly knocked over my Charlotte Tilbury palette. I look so blush blind, especially in the camera, but it's fine. And this is like a really pretty glowy highlighter and it literally just looks like wet glowing from within i love it like whenever my makeup is like kind of like eh i just add a little bit of this highlighter and i'm like oh yeah just a little bit on the nose i'm just like not even being precise at this point and a little bit, <laughs> a little bit on the inner eye okay this kind of ended up all over my eyeshadow eyelid but like why is it slaying wait a second wait a second wait a second should i be using this as eyeshadow all the time okay the blush is intense but should i be using this as eyeshadow all the time i think i should be that is actually really pretty i actually have the lash primer that was used which is the maybelline sky high which maybelline isn't cruelty free but i do own this lash primer i got in like a best of beauty from boot set and i'm not gonna curl my lashes because like i said just literally hopping into the shower and this lash primer is actually really good it's the only one like i said that i have but i actually do enjoy it i tried the essence one before as well and i definitely prefer this one because it is tinted which means that like you don't see any of those like white bits when you do end up adding the mascara and it does add a lot of volume and the best lengthening the mascara was this essence one which 
this essence one again the fact that essence it, it, this wasn't even in like the steels category it was literally in just like the best length kingdom mascara it says something about essence mascaras i will say this about essence mascaras until i die they are amazing the only thing i don't like about essence mascaras okay little rant is that like they don't seal their packaging so like anyone could have just like opened it and be like <laughs> well i hope no one would like it but still amazing look at my lashes that's not even curled and they look pretty darn good lastly i have the summer fridays which one best like tinted lip balm i think and i love this stuff so much i've been using it so much in college recently and i feel so bougie just like whipping this out of my pencil case and being like so amazing and i just ordered when i filmed this video i probably have it already by the time this video was going up because i do film my videos in advance but i ordered the like little mini like christmas set with the neutrals and i'm so excited about it and then this was another best deals it's the elf lip oil and this one is so old but we're gonna use it anyway i love this product as well so this is the allure beauty favorites the full face which i think is actually slaying so hard I wasn't expecting this. So I was thinking that this is the Allure favorites, but we should do like Lucy's favorites near the end of the year. Like 20, I was about to say 2023, 2024, Lucy's who's texting me. Sorry, tangent. Um, so I think you're doing like Lucy's faves at the end of the year. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video.